we get a closer look now, you can actually see some of the damage caused by that fire right there behind me. Uh, really bad as you get up close to it. Uh, things in this neighborhood, though, really starting to calm down now. But last night, as you said, and this morning, a much different story. In fact, they had large portions blocked off as a precaution. They were worried that this rock star's home might explode. Pat O'Brien is used to being in the spotlight as the lead guitarist for the death metal band Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> Um, Patrick O'Brien. But this, this is a different bed. kind of spotlight, the kind even bands Minus want to he, avoid. He He's here at Falcon Bay, Your Honor. O'Brien was arrested Monday night in connection with a fire that tore through his house on Stay. Norwood Drive. I mean, it's just crazy something like that happened so close to home. That fire took crews about an hour to put out. They were put on the defense as live ammunition started burning up and going off. O'Brien is said to be an avid gun collector. He's also reported to have multiple flamethrowers at his house. Yes, flamethrowers. We just heard bangs. We thought it was fireworks going on. And when we looked out the back, we saw the flames all up high in the sky and everything. Around the same time as the fire, deputies say O'Brien ran into a neighbor's house. He didn't know them, and when they said get out, he reportedly shoved a woman to the ground. When deputies showed up, they say he tried attacking them with a knife. He was tased and arrested, charged with burglary and aggravated assault on a cop with a deadly weapon. It's kind of crazy because it's such a quiet neighborhood. I mean, everybody kind of stays to themselves. Tuesday morning, multiple agencies, including the ATF and bomb squad, surrounded his house, worried about any explosive material inside. Several homes were temporarily evacuated, including Nick Verlenny's. Assault or battery. He says when it's all said and done, maybe O'Brien will use this episode as fodder for a new song. Most likely, he might name it Fuel. Not a bad name. Uh, no word on what started the fire tonight. That is still under investigation. I can tell you Bond was set at $50,000 for O'Brien. Now, his band, Cannibal Corpse, it's actually slated to go on tour later this summer with uh, Slayer. People have heard of Slayer before. Uh, no word on how this arrest might affect those tour dates. Cynthia, back to you.